Is that recording now? Yeah, it is. Hi! After watching different traveling videos, I thought, hmm, I went to different places too. So here's my traveling adventures to Austria. And although I can't really compel you with good looks or an accent, I hope my stories are good enough for you to hear. So the summer of 2012, after graduation, I went to Vienna, Austria to visit my cousin Andy, who's actually my niece because her mom is my cousin. Her mom is my cousin because her mom's mom is my aunt, who is my mom's sister. So making Andy my second cousin? So the order of it was Norfolk to DC, straight to Austria. So I flew over to DC to meet up with my cousin Kristen because we thought it would be better or easier. Actually, no, I was actually afraid to fly by myself, to be honest, because I've never flown for more than two hours on a plane by myself. We worked at the Kinks, so me and Kristen can meet up at DC and then fly to Austria together. Now we get to the airport, we found our bags. But then we thought, how are we supposed to get in contact with Joey and Gary if we don't have a phone? We got out, or I guess people, that's like where everyone meets up with families and such. We walked out, we went to a cafe that was literally just across the opening of where everyone was leaving, or coming in to the food area, I guess that's what it, that's what it was. So I stood there. Kristen walked around the whole place in a circle. She came back saying, I don't know where she is. So we stood there for a little bit, looking around, thinking, we don't have a phone. We don't even know their number. Then suddenly it came to me, Wi-Fi. Basically, I messaged Andy saying, hey, we're here. We don't have signal. We're at McDonald's. Please tell your mom and Gary that we don't know what to do. Kristen took another loop around, she found them, ta-da! So Kristen and I joined Andy to her volleyball practice. We had to go through what they call the subway, the U-Bahn, right? Whenever I'm introduced to someone new, I usually like, shake their hand or wave, but apparently in Europe they do like a cheap cheap thing and I didn't we visited my cousin Joey at her work, which was the UN, took pictures, thought it was pretty cool, had lunch with her. Then after the UN, we went to Vienna, like, I mean, we were already in Vienna, but the touristy area, we did the whole tourist thing. We took pictures next to historical landmarks, met up with her friends. She took us to this place called Vapiano, which is crazy good. The number one thing that I remember the most, though, is that if you want to drink water, drink tap water because Alpinian water, straight from the Alps. We don't have that here in the States. So when they told us to drink tap water, I was like, what? That mess is pure as a buck. You have to be really specific on when you say water, because you have to say, that sounds weird after a while, water. 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 Because if you don't, you get gas water, that's what it is. And it just tastes, to me it tastes gross. I can't do it. But really it's popular in Europe. Then comes a Thursday night. Me and Kristen were invited to Andy's friend Charlene's debut. We had no idea who anyone else was there. So it was kind of awkward the whole time that uh, Kristen and I were there. And then in the middle of it, Andy had to leave with her youth group because they were going to Germany for a YFL Congress. I think what the funniest part was is that when Chris and I were at the debut, we were thirsty, okay? We saw Pepsi. We thought it was Pepsi. It wasn't Pepsi. It was Pepsi and vodka. They had water. It was the gas water. And then they had Heineken. So week two, we went to Budapest and I watched a Hungarian wedding going on. It was really, it was really pretty. And I was glad to be a somewhat part of it. <laughs> then we also got ice cream there shaped into roses, which were so pretty, and it tasted so good. We all met up back at, in Vienna. Andy came back from Germany, we came back from Hungary. Then this is when we met Andy's 
other friends from her youth group. And we also got to meet two Filipino Greek people, JR and George. We went to this amusement place called Prada something. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Then we went to Soho, which was a hookah karaoke bar bar. Kristen and I took a dance workshop. Andy took us to this palace and to Belvedere. We went to Mauthausen, which was a big concentration camp. It was really interesting to see what they saw at the time. We saw the death stairs where Jews had to walk up the steps with like hundreds of pounds of rocks on their back. So the rocks were important because it was used for like building. But then the guards would push them in over the ledge or push them down and there would be a domino effect of people falling and dying because the steps were not even, they were slanted and they were shorter. We went to Barrio Fiesta, which is basically like a big Filipino party. George and I were supposed to try to look for the first time because I can't just, it's a duck embryo. I can't, I just, ah. We lucked out because they ran out of blood and we were just like, whoo, too bad. Oh well. Next day, Andy, Kristen, and I had to go to Croatia. The train took us to Zagreb. Then we took a bus to Zadar. And we met the same problem that Kristen and I had when we first arrived in Austria. We didn't know how to contact people. We walked down the street to ask a few restaurants if they had Wi-Fi. They didn't. So we came back, bought a calling card. Still didn't work. We went to a restaurant that was at the bus station and we ordered this little meat thingy in a sandwich form, it was really good. It's like called Seva Chichi, Seva Pichi, something like that. And our drink was Cerevita. Now that mess was so good. It's like Kool-Aid on crack. We would literally just <sighs> off point. We went to the rock beaches in Zadar you know, it was my first time seeing blue water. It was so pretty. Like, my goodness. We walked around, did the whole touristy thing. I watched water polo for a little bit. We got ice cream, which, instead of a scoop of ice cream, it's actually a spatula of ice cream. Then we came back to Vienna, met up with Andy's friends again. Just pretty much chilled. I was so sad that I had to leave the next day. Like, I was depressed. So, when I was coming back, or like at the time, it was during the Summer Olympics in London. I was on the plane from Austria to Heathrow, or London. I was, I was upset, like I was crying because I'm gonna miss them. I had all these Olympians sitting around me and I'm thinking in my head, man, I am the weakest person on this plane right now. There's a baby in the front row and I am crying and I'm like, I'm so weak around all these Olympians. And I thought, dang, I'm sitting with like royalty or something. This mess is crazy. Overall, the trip to Austria and back and staying there was fun. I loved it so much. I wouldn't mind going again. It was a nice change of scenery, I guess you can say, because I'm used to going to the Philippines whenever I fly overseas. And so it was nice to go to Europe instead. So I think it's pretty cool to say that I have Austrian friends and Greek friends. When I was there, I made a week one, week two, week three video. They're all in the link below, so if you want to go watch those, go ahead and you'll see like first person, I guess, of what I did in a slightly more detailed manner because this is more like an overview. If you like the video, click like because that'd be really nice of you. <laughs> and I'll probably make another one about the Philippines instead. Alright, bye!